Hello KLS crew and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. In this video we will be looking at the week 4 challenges for season 9. Before we start, please note that obviously my voice is a robotic voice that was sampled from a text to speech software, so there may be mispronunciations or spelling errors. Please try to excuse these. Just so you know, since the start of season 8 you could put challenges as your party assist so you can complete challenges with players in your lobby so if you struggle with one, set it as your party assist and you can complete it with other players in your lobby. Let's start by looking at an overview of the challenges before we go into the details. There are three challenges you can do if you don't have the paid battle pass. The first challenge of the three unpaid battle pass challenges is, Deal damage with sniper rifles to opponents and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The second challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage out of 3 is, Dance inside a holographic tomato head and is worth 1 battle stars or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The second stage for the second challenge out of 3 is, Dance inside a holographic der burger head and is worth 2 battle stars or 200 XP if you are at tier 100. The final stage for the second challenge is, Dance inside a giant dumpling head and is worth 2 battle stars or 200 XP if you are at tier 100. The third challenge is, Legendary weapon eliminations and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. The next four challenges can only be done by players who have bought the paid battle pass. The fourth challenge is, destroy a loot carrier in different matches and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The fifth challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage out of 5 is, land at polar peak and is worth 1 battle stars or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The second stage out of 5 for the fifth challenge is, Land at Lazy Lagoon and is worth 1 battle star or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The third stage out of 5 for the fifth challenge is, Land at Salty Springs and is worth 1 battle star or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The fourth stage out of 5 for the fifth challenge is, Land at the Block and is worth 1 battle star or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The final stage for the fifth challenge is, Land at Lonely Lodge and is worth 1 battle star or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The sixth challenge is, eliminate opponents in Haunted Hills or Dusty Divot and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. The seventh and final challenge is, visit different named locations in a single match and is with 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. Now let's go into the details of the challenges for this week. The first challenge is, deal damage with sniper rifles to opponents and if you deal 500 damage with sniper rifles you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. For this challenge you can only use the following. Uncommon and rare hunting rifle. Epic and legendary suppressed sniper rifle. Epic and legendary heavy sniper rifle. Uncommon and rare semi-auto sniper rifle. Team Rumble will be the best for this challenge as you have RESP on so you can keep trying. You often will find players that stand still so it will be easy to get a sniper shot. The second challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage is, Dance inside a holographic tomato head and if you dance inside it you can get 2 battle stars or 200 XP. The locations of the holographic tomato head on top of the big mall in Mega Mall. The second stage for the second challenge is, Dance inside a holographic der burger head and if you dance inside it you can get 2 battle stars or 200 XP. The location of the holographic der burger head is on top of the der burger restaurant in Neo Tilted. The final stage for the second challenge is, dance inside a giant dumpling head and if you dance inside it you can get 2 battle stars or 200 XP. The location of the giant dumpling head is in Lucky Landing. The third challenge is, 
legendary weapon eliminations and if you get 3 eliminations you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. You could go to the block as there is a legendary chest which always spawns legendary weapons. Or you could go into team rumble as supply drops spawn very frequently and they also always drop a legendary weapon. The fourth challenge is, destroy a loot career in different matches and if you destroy one in three different matches you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. A loot carrier is the drone that was added into the game quite recently. To do this challenge, you must be in a location which has a gold name. For example if you open your minimap and Dusty Divot is gold, that is the only location that has the drones spawning. Once you go over to the gold location, simply find one and break it. The fifth challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage out of five is, land at Polar Peak and if you land there you can get 1 battle stars or 100 XP. The second stage out of five for the fifth challenge is, land at Lazy Lagoon and if you land there you can get 1 battle star or 100 XP. The third stage out of five for the fifth challenge is, land at Salty Springs and if you land there you can get 1 battle star or 100 XP. The fourth stage out of five for the fifth challenge is, land at the block and if you land there you can get 1 battle star or 100. The final stage for the fifth challenge is, land at Lonely Lodge and if you land there you can get 1 battle star or 100. This one is very easy. Simply just land there as the battle bus passes over the location you need to land and you should have your stage complete. The sixth challenge is, eliminate opponents in haunted hills or dusty divot and if you get 3 eliminations you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. Dusty divot is right in the center of the map so there will probably be more players. However if you want somewhere more quiet, Haunted Hills would be better however there might be a few matches where no players will land there. The final challenge for week 4 is, visit different named locations in a single match and if you visit 5 different named locations you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. A good idea is the use a vehicle as you can get different locations fast. A good route to go is first go to Junk Junction. Then go over to Haunted Hills. And then go to Pleasant Park then Loot Lake. And finally Neo Tilted. You could go to the racetrack east of Junk Junction so you can get a vehicle to make this process faster. And that is all the challenges for week 4. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy or this guide helped you with your weekly challenge, be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Also feel free to leave a comment and we will read all of them. Also, we are desperate to do other videos like compilations so if you want your Fortnite clips in one of our videos then check the description on how to do it. Turn notifications on as we upload these videos every week. Once again, thanks for watching. Bye.